Holy shit! Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for tuning in to another video. Today we're going to be going out catfishing. Uh, it's going to be a little bit different of a video, actually. I've been getting some questions and comments about the rods and reels I use, uh, how to use a circle hook. People have been messaging me, um, uh, baits, things like that. I'm going to kind of make a little guide here on how I personally go about catfishing. Um, it's going to vary uh, depending on where you live in the United States, if you're in a southern cat fisherman, northern cat fisherman, whatever. But a lot of the tips will kind of apply across the board. So I hope this helps you guys, and thanks for watching. Alrighty, you guys, I made it down to my spot here upstream. About a quarter mile, there's a tributary that runs into the Red River here, and then I'm just fishing a nice beaver dam. Uh, there's a lot of pile of snags over there, a lot of wood piles. I've been finding the bigger fish after the spawn here hanging out in the wood. I'm sure once the water warms up more, um, they'll move to the deeper stuff. But right now I'm going to start here. I think it's a good spot. I'm seeing bait jump. So uh, on to the essential items you guys are going to need for catfish. And number one, get yourself some freaking mud boots, you guys. If you don't like getting muddy, I'm going to need you to click off this video now because catfishing is all about getting muddy. Maybe bass fishing will be better for you if you don't like getting muddy. Uh, walleye fishing, you know, things like that, okay? Number two... Get yourself a freaking hat, okay? It's gonna keep your ears from getting crispy, it's good luck, and you just look good when you got a nice catfishing hat, okay? Number three, grow a beard if you can. People are gonna respect you more. The greasier, the better when it comes to a beard. I'm on the fence about mustaches, but if you got a mustache, go all out with it. No half-assing it, you guys. I need that mustache greasy, okay? It's gonna catch you bigger fish, all right? So uh, number four, is that what we're on, number four? Rods and reels. We just got a little Abu Garcia Revo X here. This is a combo I got at Shields. I love this rod. This is a medium power rod. I use it for catching my bait. We got a half ounce bottom balancer. We got a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader with just a plain hook on there. We're gonna throw a worm down there and try to catch some gold eyes. I could spend an hour talking about what, what bait people use, you know. In the north here, we use suckers and gold eyes usually to catch the bigger catfish. Shrimp, some people use chicken livers, things like that. But, uh, yeah, I pretty much stick to cut bait. <laughs> and the old tried and true catfish pole here, you guys. Look at that. That is the Ugly Stick Catfish Rod. Got that from Walmart, 20 bucks. I'm not a big fan of the reel that came on this rod, so I got a Daiwa Crossfire. I think this is a 5000 series reel. We got that rigged up with 40 pound braid, um, 25 pound mono leader, uh, size 5 circle hook, and a 2 ounce sinker right now, flat sinker. Uh, I like to tie up a bunch of leaders so that way when I break off, because you're going to break off when you're catfishing, you guys. It's just, it's just how it goes. Uh, I have a bunch of leaders tied up so that I can just get right back out there and start fishing. Let's get at it. I think I'm ready to do some fishing, you guys. How about you? Let's do it. All right, you guys, I'm going to throw out this crawler rig here. Like I showed you, I just put a night crawler on that. I'm going to throw it out into this slacker stuff. I'm not going to really fish that main current for, for the gold eyes. Another thing you'll need, you guys, bring a rod holder or get yourself a nice stick, okay? Let's catch us some bait. Okay, we're getting bites. Feel for the bite, you guys. Set the hook. Reel them in. That's a catfish. We don't want to use catfish as bait, you guys. We need a gold eye. Here we go, guys. If you're catching too many little catfish, that'll happen if you throw the bottom rig. Put on a bobber. These gold eyes will get it more more often than not if it's on a bobber. Alrighty, kids, on to the next segment of our video now that we have our bait. These are gold eyes. I mean, I guess they're like our shad of the people down south. I don't, they're part of the whitefish family, I think, related to the tula bee and the lake whitefish. But they're pretty much everywhere in the Red River, you guys. Throw on a bobber, throw on a bobber and a worm, and you'll catch one. So we're gonna cut these up into about one inch segments and throw them on the circle hook and try to get some catfish. All right, I got the gold eye cut up. And what you wanna do with these circle hooks when you hook these gold eyes, you guys, leave as much hook, leave as much hook exposed as possible. I like to hook it through the meat, right through the skin. You can even hook it shallower than I did. Also make sure there's no scales. Make sure there's no scales on the tip of that hook, you guys, cause that will lose you a fish. We're gonna toss it out there. 
probably get snagged, but don't get frustrated. And we're fishing. Now when you're using these circle hooks, guys, don't get excited when it's just popping like that. Wait for that rod to go. Because a lot of these people are going to wait, feel the bite, and try to set the hook. You're just going to miss the fish. Now this is probably just a little guy. See, now he's on there. That's when he... Oh! See, even then I pulled it out of his mouth. I should have let him have it more. I might even... I'm just going to really just go shallow on that. Hopefully that'll help. These gold, This fresh gold eye, you guys, is really tough bait, so... It's not gonna fall off the hook easy. What I'm talking about, you guys, I probably have five or six hooks, five or six circle hooks, and I had a couple uh, bait hooks. So I'm always ready when I get snagged to just throw on another hook. Just makes it, you know, you're gonna catch more fish if your bait's in the water longer, you know what I mean? So always just prepare. And while you're waiting for that catfish pole, you guys, don't be afraid to throw that bobber out there. You never know, you might catch a 32 inch walleye. See? Keeps you busy too. Holy shit! That's a big fish. Here we go guys, I got him out of that tree. Nice fish. Come here, buddy. Yes, got him. Got him, guys. That's a good fish, you guys. Beauty. Look at that one, you guys. That's a beautiful channel cat. Really quality fish. Nice. I've been waiting all day for that fish. She absolutely crushed that gold eye. Just hammered it. I'm gonna get it right back. Nice. Jeez, you guys, that was just an absolute ferocious freaking bite. You saw how that fish took the hook. I mean, so you guys understand now, like um, the ones asking about uh, how to use a circle hook, don't don't worry about them picking and pecking. When a catfish wants that bait, you guys, they're gonna take it. And that circle hook does a really good job of just hooking that fish as soon as it really swallows that bait. So I hope that was a good example of what I was trying to say when I say wait for that rod to look like it's about to go in the water. Cause that's that's literally what just about happened. So that was an awesome, awesome fish, you guys. Awesome, fun fight. I'm really surprised it didn't break off on the wood. I just heard that braid screeching against that tree right here. But I'm gonna stay, give it a couple more hours, see if I get another one, you guys. Thanks for watching. Oh, there's one on there, I think. Nope. Oh, now he's on there.
I picked it right back up as I set it down. Oak. It's another good fish. Got him. Another quality catfish, you guys. Very nice. Got you guys another nice catfish. Get him back. I don't know if you guys can tell, but around this big bend, and then there's this dam, right? It's almost making a funnel. You see how it kind of narrows right there? And that's where I'm placing, placing my baits today. Seems to be where I'm getting all the good bites. The fish are funneling through there right into my baits. Got another one up in this tree. There we got him out. That's a good one too. That is a good one, you guys. Oh, that's a nice fish. Please don't break me off. Strong fish. Jeez, that's a nice one. In that net, baby. Yes. Oh, that's a good fish. Whew, that's a nice fish. Look at that one. Look at that fish. Nice. Had to wait on him, but what a what a good channel. That's a trophy channel cat right there, you guys. Red River of the North, you guys, you gotta come and fish here. Look at that. What a fish. I'm gonna get him back. Oh my goodness. Alrighty you guys, I ran to the gas station, kinda collected my thoughts on the day, had to grab some water. I forgot to bring water, another essential item to bring when you're catfishing you guys. I forgot to bring it and I was dying. So put that on the list too. What a great day, huh? Three real good fish. I hope you guys were able to learn something from the tips I shared. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment. Like and subscribe. Yeah, I'm really enjoying making these videos for you guys. I'm almost up to 100 subscribers. It's absolutely crazy to me. I know it doesn't seem like a lot to a lot of people, but to me, it means a lot. So I appreciate you guys who are sticking around. I hope to keep dropping real good content for you guys. I really hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Get out there and catch some fish, you guys. The catfishing is great right now, so stick to it. Good luck, everyone. Thanks for watching.